Hello everybody, it is I, the Willowiki Pigman, and welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Heaven for the Future, Super Story Mode. Last time, we beat up Avo and beat up Kakiyon, and now we're flying on the planet. Pack up the bizarre insect. So, this is one of the unique things about Super Story Mode. Because it goes through the entirety of Part 3, some, some, uh, watch out another stand weirder, oh, yeah, more pain than me, huh? Is it a stag beetle? What is a stag beetle doing on the plane? I have a bad feeling about this. Apple, is it a stand? Is there another stand wielder on the on board? It's possible, but I have never encountered a bug shaped stand. <laughs> Jotaro, it's flying toward. It's flying to your left. It's huge! Disgusting creature. Well, leave this to me. Star Platinum. It dodges his attack. Unbelievable. It moves faster than Star Platinum. Hey, it's flying over there. What is it going to do? Oh no. Hehehe, <laughs> bingo! I cut off the tongues of all the passengers. Now I'm to finish the job. Massacre. This, this can't be happening. Hmm? I'm so sleepy. What are you fussing about? What is happening here? Huh? What is this? Blood? You just, you just sleep for a while. <laughs> he just straight up punches him. I knew my higher friend Green could handle a stand wielder of this type without, without a problem. Alright, so now we get to play as Khaki Oin. He has Emerald Splash, Mystic Cloak, and Mystic Trap. So, out of all these playable stand wielders, including the dog, uh, I, I think Khaki Oin's, honestly, his stand, as well as Joseph and Iggy, pretty much looks almost the same as in the, uh, the arcade versions. Also, low screen right now. So, I'm gonna pause here. The unique thing about the, about the Super Story mode is that it because it goes through the entirety of part three, just all the characters from part three, including the minor taxes, will appear. Of course it won't be like Tyro Gray here where it's its own fighting character they can fight. Well, I mean it's not playable, but still. Um yeah. And not only that, it gives all the characters that appears in Heritage for the Future AI. Because here's the thing, the only characters in Heritage for the Future that has AI are the six playable characters Dio, Alessi, Midler, Devo, and uh, who else? And Chaka. And Shadow Deal. Those are the only characters that have uh, AI. This this here gives a all, char all the characters AI, which makes this a, a lot more unique. Yeah, so Kagioi. You can air dash. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, this is just a... Yeah, this is kind of a shit show here. Honestly, the best way to do this is just... It's just trying... Just trying the Emerald Splash. Well, well, I wonder, can I break and demon him? Oh! It almost, it almost looked like I got him. There we go. Yeah, the other main issue about this game is that it's heavily censored, even in the Japanese version. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Yeah! Hmm, a disgusting stand for a disgusting person. Just as I expected. He was born to be nothing but an evil stand wielder. I guess he was blinded by the money. Strange, it seems that the plane is leaning. I wonder if... 
Oh man. Oh no, we're trapped. And that snag beetle's come already killed the pilot. Ba ha ha! Gah, you will never get to Master Dio. I said you'll never. Ah, gah, gah, gah. Ugh. Well, the pilot's dead. All we have to do is, hey, old man, take take control of the plane and make it land. But it's only the third time I've done this. I think who would crash as many time as many as three times in one life? I'll tell you what. I never. I'll never fly on the same plane as you at, again ever. Alrighty, so, if you don't know, Joseph Joestar crashed the plane two times before before Part 3. Um, back once, first time when he was a teenager, when the plane was getting hijacked, and second, and second time when he was fighting cars in Part 2. So I think, so I think that's a, so I think that's kind of unique there. Ah, uh, yeah, classic image. Also, a lot of the artwork for the arcade game was taken straight from the manga, which I find really unique. And if, and if you can't tell, this was made by Capcom. So we so we know it's good. Code of the Night. Ooh, are we getting Ponereth? Yes! Where is this? You there, I'll predict your future, Evdol. Hmm, I foresee that you will be destroyed by your own stain. Avdol. Jotaro, I don't need your help. This place is strong enough for me to use my maximum power. So now we can play as Avdol. So he has Crossfire, Hurricane, Firewall, and Fire Eagle. However, there's still more moves than that. After all, it doesn't tell you the supers. Because he has Crossfire, Hurricane, Special. Ah, there's a good team. I'll spy you. So, so remember how I mentioned about Tandem, Tandem Rush it, back in the first episode? That's exclusive for Active Sand users and Weapon Sand users only. So pretty much all the characters that we be playing as, minus one specific time, can use, uh, can use a tandem rush. Whatever. You are so arrogant. You dare to challenge me with your f fortune telling. I'm a master of that art. I was too careless. I thought that I couldn't be defeated by such a childish flame. Foo foo, I foresee that I'll be that I'll be burned to death. That's my destiny. I, I accept it. <clears throat> you have a strong spirit and I don't want to kill you. Please tell me, you must have a reason for your attack. Jojo, you must remove the evil plant inside it. Now that evil plant is removed, I guess that's that he has become a good guy. I guess so. Now release Theo's control opponent have told him that he's looking for a double right-handed man. One of the things that if he's with them, the Sandmaster may try to attack them, and so he joins their journey. And that is it for today's episode. I hope you liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.